Pisces, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV to bring you your weekly tarot reading. And this reading is going to be for December 25th all the way to December 31st. That's Christmas to New Year's Eve. So welcome, Pisces. Now, let's talk about what's going to be going on this week because it's a big week. So first of all, right after Christmas on Tuesday, we have a full moon in Cancer. And when we got a full moon right after the holiday, I almost look at it as a joy hangover. You know, we're, we build up this energy towards the holidays. We're shopping and decorating and wrapping and baking and cooking and frying and doing all that shit. And maybe, maybe, maybe for some of you crying. And um, then we wake up the next day, reality hits. We overspent, we overate. We got to go back to fucking work the next day. Yeah. And a full moon in Cancer to make you just weep the day away. <laughs> so you don't want to do that, Pisces. What you want to do is release all that energy. This is a good time to decompress from the holidays, meditate, go outside if you can, and ground. You know what I'm saying? Now, we have Jupiter on December 30th finally going direct. It's been in retrograde since about June. So... The planet of abundance is going to be moving forward and showering it on all of y'all because it's a big gassy planet. And we love that energy. So Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be going, starting to go direct January 1st. So now communication lines open. Things start moving forward in 2024. And oh boy, are they ever. So let's get some guidance. There it is. Boom, chicka, boom. Boom, boom. Mmm. All right, Pisces, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go this. All right. Um, yeah, we got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, Knight of Swords coming out in everybody's cards. How do we do this? Okay. All right. This is what we got, Pisces. Five of Swords. Get out of your head. Stop worrying about things. Take action. You may be waiting for a communication. You may need to make, you need to tell somebody. You need to tell somebody, Pisces. The emperor is you taking your power back in the situation. We're worrying about something too much. Just take the action. Take your power back. Trust your intuition. Get your passion ignited. And balance towards the end of the week. Boom. Just like that. The main focus is taking your power back in the situation, taking action. This is taking action. Let's not sit here and, and oh, wring our hands. That's what it looks like. Worry, worry, worry. No, no. Move through this. Focus on balance. Take your power back. Choose intuition. Trust your gut. Get in touch with your feelings. This is you decompressing from the holidays and things balance out, you know. All right, let's get some clarifiers on this. Nice and easy, lemon peasy. All right. Clarifiers. All right. The first thing they want to show you is the three of cups. And this is celebration. This is balance with friends. This is with family. This is getting together at the end of the week. Absolutely. And the moon is going to be very important for you. It's going to show you the things that you need to let go of Release the worry and take action. Temperance shows us not only intuition, but patience. Patience. Three of wands, again, another three, shows us that we are looking towards our future. We just need to be patient with our process because you're still worrying about things, Pisces. All right. But that moon is going to be significant at the beginning of the week. So pay attention to that. Release anything. Feel it, experience it, release it. You don't need to hang on to it. That's what we do. We hang on to it. We let it run in our hamster wheel until it, you know, come on. You're better than that. Wow, look at all these cards. Look at all these cards. Wow, look at this. This is excellent. Third eye, patience and planning. All right, wait, all right. I'm too excited about this energy. All right, first of all, Using your spiritual strength this week is tantamount to get what you want. 
holding the vision in your mind, that third eye, using your intuition and its patience and planning. That's the temperance card again. Accelerated motion. Things are going to start moving forward, especially after December 30th. And that's the destiny card. Boom. Stepping into it. Claiming it. It's your year. Now let's do the prism oracles. See what kind of messages they got for you, Pisces. Let's see what we got. This is good energy moving forward. Yeah, the confidence card was just slowly edging its way out. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's put to rest and get some rest of rejection and anxiety. That's where the worry comes from. Let's put that to rest. Use your spiritual strength. Hold your vision. Patience, grasshopper. Patience. And then confidence. And then all of a sudden, things start moving forward. Things start balancing out. Your relationships start to improve. Things start to move. It's divine timing, Pisces. You'll know it. Hold that vision in your mind's eye. And you will hold it in your hands. Now, let's switch to love. Let's see how our relationships are going to be going for this week. Looks like we're worried about something here. Got a couple more. Oop. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Woo. Okay. We got the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords cuts all cords, doesn't focus on anxiety or rejection. It rests. It's confident. It speaks its truth. He speaks its truth, whatever. Queen of Cups is, again, we've got that trusting your intuition, following your gut. Then we've got the Knight of Cups. An offer is made. Brings our confidence. You know, we're bringing things to the table. The Nine of Pentacles is, again, a, a form of confidence uh, four of Wands is harmony in the home. We've got a person that can be distant and cold, and we've got a person that is very emotional. And someone is going to be offering an apology here, if that's what it is. You know, maybe they got some speaking to do. But the relationship kind of feels a little, well unbalanced, but we need to be confident that again, you two are going to be able to work things out, you know, just maybe a little rest from each other, a little respite, you know what I mean? But it looks like everything's going to be working out almost. Maybe this disagreement had to happen. I'm thinking, you know, maybe these, you know, Pisces, you can be too emotional. So, and it, and it shows that you're going to be emotional. So be careful. You know, be careful of what your words are because, you know, maybe you're the one that's got to make the apology. Let's get some messages of love and see what they have to say. Got any more for Pisces? Oh, they sure do. Okay, integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? Maybe that's what it is, you know. You guys are having a disagreement on things. Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Yep, we got to let go of those holiday traumas, kids. Oh, look at that. Time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. There's definitely some distance, so don't worry about that. You're not being rejected. Don't have anxiety about it. You just need some time apart because there's definitely going to be an offer made here. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Be patient with your process. Your inner circle, that three of cups. New love, a new love or recommitment to love is developing. That's definitely happening. So Pisces, get out of this anxiety. Do your healing. Hold the vision in your mind and this relationship will work out. That's for singles or couples or, you know, no contact or anything. Time apart will bring some clarity. All right. Let's get a closing message for Pisces. And see what the universe has got to say for the last reading of the year. Boom. There it is. 
Pisces, break free. You're being asked to break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. Now, does this situation align with your values and morals, your integrity? You know, this isn't easy, but it's very necessary if you're going to share your true self with others. Be brave, be real, be you. And trust that those who love you will always be there for you. That support. Break free from the chains that bind you. Break free from those chains that bound you in 2023. When you could have flourished. When you had the ideas. Now you're going to be moving into it. And you have to be confident in your decision. In love. In career. In your vision of your life. Break free from somebody else's vision of what they want. Because there's only one vision that's important in this fucking universe right now, and that's yours. So communicate that and move towards that. Because if your partner doesn't understand you now, they will when you're aligned to it. So break free. Listen to Queen. I want to break free. That's a great song. Play that on New Year's Eve. Dance around in your kitchen. Be grateful for what you have. And move on with a better vision for 2024. All right, Pisces, that's the last reading for the year. Happy New Year. I wish you many blessings and I will see you in 2024.